Leadership. Leadership is hard. Being a leader can be a lonely position, can be a lonely task. Leadership takes courage. If you're not very courageous, if you don't have a lot of courage, sometimes it's hard to be a leader. A lot of times it's hard to be a leader. Because leaders, good leaders, don't take the stance of pleasing everybody. You've got to make some tough decisions. If you want to be a part of an organization or if you are part of an organization that wants to make significant progress in your business, in your efforts, in your mission, then you need to have a leader that makes courageous decisions. Sometimes those decisions are hard. Sometimes they're necessary. A lot of times they're not popular. Just because you might be a leader in your organization <clears throat> doesn't necessarily make you courageous. We, we appoint people, we appoint people as leaders a lot, put them in positions of leadership because either they have skills and have shown that they can do a job well and, and so we say, oh, well then they'd be great to head up this project or this team or this department. Sometimes they fail because what made them great in their job was the skills that they had for that job. They don't have the skills of a leader. It doesn't mean they can't learn it. But just because somebody's good at a job doesn't necessarily make them a good leader. You gotta be courageous. Having courage can lead you to a position of leadership. If you are a person who is courageous in making decisions, not, not one who says, well, I don't care what anybody else thinks, this is the way it works. No, not necessarily. But if you are able to be, to have courage to make the decision that needs to be made, in the face of objection and people fighting back and people not understanding, but because you can see a bigger picture. If you can have that kind of courage to make those decisions, you might be a good leader. Courage starts inside. Every leader is tested first within themselves because the first person you're gonna lead is yourself. And if you don't have the courage to be truthful and honest with yourself and to make the hard decisions for yourself, then you may not be a really good leader. Courage isn't the absence of fear. You know, we all have fears in our life, fears of making wrong decisions, the fear of losing, the fear of failure, the fear, even I talked just about the fear of success. But courage isn't the absence of fear. Courage is is doing what you're afraid of anyway. That thing that you're afraid of doing, courage is doing it anyway because it needs to be done, because it's the right decision, because it's the right thing that needs to be done at this right time. It's having the guts to let go of what's familiar to you and push forward into territory that's new, that you've never been in, that may be frightening but it's the courage of being able to go into that. Courage is making things right. Great leaders are able to get people to work together. Not fighting and arguing, but they get them to work together because courageous leaders stand on principle and having the guts to do what needs to be done. And when the people around you see you as a leader standing on principle and values and doing what needs to be done and committing to what you can accomplish instead of making people happy. That's where most leaders fail. They try to make everybody happy and then it just never works out. But if they see you standing on principle, standing on your values and being committed to what you can accomplish, then people will get behind you. Courage is inspired commitment. 
a leader with courage inspires others to follow them if you're a leader with courage you inspire commitment from other people because when you step out with courage and determination to take action people see that because you're standing on your values they're standing on your commitments and it will inspire them to do the same to follow after you when you take a stand it causes everybody else to kind of bow their back and stand up and say yes this is what we're going to do this is what's right a leader with courage you you grow in proportion to the courage that you have if you have a little bit of courage you'll grow a little bit if you have a whole lot of courage you're gonna grow a lot more because courage opens the door to new opportunities when people see that you have that you are courageous enough to take a stand to take a stand for other people to take a stand for what's not right to take a stand for the wrongs that are be going on to take a stand for what you need to do to grow your business when people see that guess what there's gonna be new opportunities opened up for you because other people say that's a great leader I want that kind of a leader in my business whether you have the courage to take risks or not you'll still experience fear because it's the unknown we don't know what's gonna happen we step out in faith we step out in courage we step out on principle and go for this one action and we're still fearful because we don't know what's gonna happen that doesn't mean you don't do it it just means there's there's this level of fear which is okay it's the unknown that kind of ho hopefully keeps you on edge if you need to overcome the fear and doubt that you have about yourself and what you can accomplish then you might as well just take action and make it count if you're going to work to overcome the fear and overcome the doubt that you have because we all have doubt we might make this decision we might have conviction we might have values and principles and courage to make a decision but we still are gonna be fearful and have doubt that it maybe isn't gonna work out the way we think as long as you don't live in the fear and the doubt you should come out ahead you might as well take that action and make it count the flip side is if you don't take the action <laughs> nothing's gonna happen you're not gonna get anywhere you won't know either that that was a wonderful idea and you had tremendous success or you found out that that wasn't really the right way to do it but there is another way that's okay if you want to make real significant progress as a leader or in your business or on your team or in your church or in your community whatever it is be a leader who makes courageous decisions if that scares you if you're in a position of leadership and making courageous decisions scares you one of two things one step out because we need leaders who can make courageous decisions or two work on it if it's something you're passionate about and you want to see this work learn how to be more courageous it can be done it's a hard road it can be done because we want to please other people but sometimes we have to not fall into that pit because we've got to get the, the job done so if you're a courageous leader we need you more now today than ever we need courageous leaders in business in our communities in our churches in politics everywhere we need courageous leaders who are willing to work for what's right and do the, the do the hard work and make the hard decisions so that's your Saturday survival tip for today be a courageous leader if you're a leader be a courageous leader the future of your business or your organization depends on you to make the tough decision 
to lead the people through that with courage and to come out the other side succeeding in what you're starting and what you're working on. Hope you have a great weekend. It's going to be a beautiful Saturday today. This is Mark Schinner coming to you from the porch. I'll be back and talk to you tomorrow.